Hi right, guys, welcome back to another in the series. I am your presenter, Lennox Bennett. Let's go, let's go. All right, so we have a matrix. You say the matrix is defined as m is equal to p minus p for one, determine the value of p for which the matrix m is singular. Try that one, guys. Let's go. Hit the like button, guys. Hit the like button. Let's go. All right, that's the answer. Type it in. Let me see, guys. So you should complete it by now. It's only two marks. Shouldn't be difficult to get these two marks. All right. Let's see if I can make it quicker. All right. So you said the matrix M is defined as two p minus three four one. Determine the value of p. All right, so let me just rewrite back in. So what we know is that with the matrix, a matrix is singular when the determinant is equal to zero. So if the determinant is zero, what's the determinant? Now the determinant is AD, and every matrix is in the form A, B, C. Um, so it's A D minus B C, and that must be equal to zero. That's the definition of a singular matrix. All right, the determinant is zero, so it's like you're making an X. So we multiply two P times one, which gives us two P minus minus three times four. Minus is a part of the formula. It's a very common error for students to just put one minus, and that must be equal to zero. Let's go. So we have 2p minus negative 3 times 4 give us negative 12, and that must be equal to zero. Now, two negatives is going to become a positive. So we have 2p plus 12. Guys, if you just if you don't understand this, I've done this several times on my channel step by step. All right, so now we're going to subtract 12 from both sides. So minus 12. And then the final step, we divide by 2 and we get our 2 marks. So P is equal to negative 6. So what this is saying, if you put the value negative 6 right here, then this will work out to 0. This time, this is equal to 0. Let's see. 2 times negative 6 will give us negative 12. Put back a 1 and negative 3. We're actually trying it now in order to see if it gives us 0. If it don't give us 0, we must say it wrong. Right? So you multiply negative 12 times 1. Minus minus three times four. Negative twelve times one give us negative twelve. What for minus and then negative twelve. So this becomes negative twelve plus twelve, which is indeed equal to zero. All right, so that is correct. I was at the two marks. All right. It says given A, A and D are two by two matrix such that A is equal to one, two, negative four, three, and B is equal to that. Calculate two A plus B. Go ahead and do that one, guys. Let's go. It's only two marks, so 
See if you can compete between two mates. Guys, you have to work on your speed. You know, students may say Mr. Benny push it, but that's what it required, all right? They don't want to be in exam. That is why it's important to go to class. It's more than just you doing it. Teacher, we have to guide and say, listen, we're going too slow. Let's go, let's go. So let's go, guys, let's go. That's the answer. Type in that, guys. If you're watching the playback, try complete it in the time also, all right? Just try, guys. You must try to always be improving. That's the main goal. Just always be improving as the days goes by. All right, let's go. So they ask us to find 2a plus b. So what it is, we're going to just multiply 2 times b. And a says 1, 2. Be very careful, guys, with the order. All right, sometimes they will change up the order. For example, give it 2b. So watch out for that because the order doesn't matter, all right? So then add 5. Negative one. Let's get these marks, guys. Right? Let's get these marks. So we're gonna multiply each by two. So two times one, that's two. Two times two, that's four. We got everybody who support me. Now. Two times that, negative eight. Especially if you are from not from Jamaica. Add this all right so what is now we're gonna add corresponding one so this much is the first and this much with this this much with this this much with this you get the idea right so it's gonna be two plus five which is this two plus this five here and then we have four so it's just the corresponding Position your man, your matching. Some persons want to do it to plus here, so it doesn't make a difference, all right? We have negative eight matches with zero. Type this in the comment section. What would six match with? You guys can express it. You know? So it would be six plus three. So to get our full four marks, three mark, two marks, what we do we just add now two plus five. That's seven, four plus negative one, that's three. Negative eight, and the final one, nine. How many persons got that correct? How many persons seen this for the very first time? Shouldn't be, guys. Not when exam is two days away. This is revision, all right? All right, it's a determine the inverse of B. So let us find the inverse of b before. So b is 5, negative 1, 0, and 3. So I just want to make sure I have the question correct. All right, let's go. Let's go with the like button, guys. So what it is, to find the inverse, you need to find the determinant. So it's 5 times 3. We did that up here. So minus negative one times zero well they're gonna record to zero so we don't even need the negatives so this is going to record to 15 plus zero which is 15. so what it is we put one over the determinant which is 15 we change the position so this is a and b we're going to change their position a very common error students change the position of this and change the sign of this. all right so we swap Position with three and five, everybody see that? And then we're gonna change. Well, zero does zero. 
neither positive nor negative. So this becomes positive y. And you'd have gotten full marks for this, which is the inverse. Alright, you say given that 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 equal that calculate the values of x and y. So what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be finding the inverse and then but if we did find the inverse of here, so recall the inverse was 1 over 53, 5, positive 1, and 0. All right. And then we are going to have multiply by 9 and 3. And that must be equal to x, y. So what it is, the first one, the one at the top is x, the next one is y. So cut up this in rows, and the last one in column. So we're going to multiply row by column. Everyone should be able to do that. 3 nine is 27. 1 times 3, that is 3. We don't need a row 1 here. Row 2 now, 0 times 9 is 0. And 5 times 3 is 15. Why am I have 9 here, so guys? That's supposed to be y. All right. So what it is now, we just add what's inside the bracket, and almost through. So we have twenty-seven plus three, which gives us thirty, and then that gives us fifty. And my top one is x, and the base one is. All right. So to find x, now we say thirty divided by fifteen. So that's x equal to, and 15 over 15 is y, which works out to 2 equal to 1. So x is 2 and y is 1. And that is the end of the test. So guys, thank you so much for watching. It's a really to appreciate you all. See me number there. You can always draw me number. Right, put it so. And what's up, me? And the name is Linux Credit. This channel is going to grow in a guy, so try to be a part of growth and development. All right? So the history of students getting grade one, so, you know? Yeah. All right, guys, so thanks for watching. See you guys soon. I'm out, no doubt. Next video coming up as usual.